everybody, Todd here with uh, the Curator of Thrift and today I am coming at you with a how-to video on how I ship my vinyl sales. Um, it doesn't matter whether it's domestically or internationally. This is exactly how I do it and so far to date I have had 100% perfect shipping rate on it so no damage yet. So this is what I'm going to show everybody on how I do it. First off, the eBay packing box that I use, doesn't matter if it's eBay or any other shipper for vinyl. My two inserts for each side that I cut to 12 by 12 with recycled cardboard and a cutter just so that I wouldn't have to pay for these. And then I use two three square setups and then I use a single which I cut into small squares like or small pieces like this which I will show how what I do with these also packing tape for your supplies scotch tape a knife to be able to cut this piece and obviously a thank you sticker for the outside of the box so let me start off today I am shipping a Mark Anthony gatefold vinyl that I picked up from Target on clearance and I sold for $20 with free shipping. So this is what I'm starting off with. So let's go. So I start off by doing one direction this way. Try and even it out. I always use one in the center and one on each end and then I do it again this actually has two layers on this side so I flip it over turn it 90 degrees and then do the other side so usually when it's like this, I will actually add one more here and just so that everything's tight, I get it put together here and again with three pieces of tape. So that's not all I do. So just to show everybody, I'm going to put everything out of the way, put that aside. And I'll start with this. I get my knife. Sorry, everything's kind of in the way here. So what I do is I get my knife. I actually cut it in half. And then I cut it into thirds. Doesn't matter if it's equal or not. It's still going to do the same thing. So, and I only need to use four of these to get this done. So what I do is I fold this in half, get my tape, if I can get it off of here, and then on each corner I do this. So I do that, keeps the corners from getting damaged. And then I take put these. And what I do is I look for the direction of the cardboard. So this one's going this way. The joints going this way. I always do it the opposite direction as a stiffener piece. So let me make sure, yep, right here. And that's it. I get it in there. Get my 
bulbs corrected. All the way around, make sure everything's good. Put the right ones in here. Just to hold it. Switch it around here a little bit. So yeah, this is what I could get. This here. Make sure everything's tight and even on the corners. This piece here. Gives it a nice tight setup. And then I do this here on my corners. Keep my corners nice and get rid of the gap here. And then to finish it off, do this, gives it a hundred percent seal on the ends. And I make this nice and tight. And that's it. Then I throw on my shipping label, throw on my thank you, and that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed that how-to on how I get my vinyl packed up. So if you could, please like, subscribe, comment below if you have any comments. And please hit that bell for notifications for more how-tos, how I do other things. I'm going to probably share things here and there. And also to check out the product that I will be posting that is for sale, as well as just vlogging. So enjoy. Thank you for watching. Have a good day, everybody.